back to Farming Simulator and today we're going to have a look at the real dashboard mod that released recently on the mod hub. This is a PC only mod because it relies heavily on scripts and it relies on either the modder having added the real dashboard to the mod or you doing it yourself and that's what I'm going to have a look at today. Um, I probably don't see myself using this mod a lot because I mostly play in third person view but if you play in cab this is actually quite cool so I've already got it installed on the Traction King I'm going to show you how to install it on the little doits we have here in a second um, but if I jump in cab um, there is the horizontal screen. There are two screens included in the pack. There's a horizontal and a vertical. We're probably going to put the vertical in the Deutz because it's smaller. Um, there's also a bunch of templates and stuff if you are a modder for putting them in. But um, if you're a modder, you probably know what you're doing anyway. So, uh, yeah, the way it's set up, when you start the tractor, it comes up on the screen. And it then shows you the capacity and I think the weight of what's in the back of the trailer. Um, I've not looked in too much detail. I am I'm doing this tutorial because some of the people on Discord that I run asked me if I could do a tutorial on it. As I said, I probably won't use it because I'm mostly in this view. And so I can't see the screen. Um, it's a really cool mod. The, the instructions that come with it are really good and it's really easy to add in. But yeah, I don't see me using it myself. But I'll show you how to put it in a tractor that you want because you might want to use it so let's get out to the mods folder and get to work you are going to need giants editor and notepad plus plus or something like notepad plus plus for this um, and as i said i suspect slowly um, i think carl farms uses it in or plans to use it in some of his tractors uh, or their tractors and i'm sure others will as well but you know if you want to add it to something like this that it's already out it's a pretty quick job because most of the work is done for you. So let's get out to the mods folder and get to work. So to add this to a track to yourself, you're going to need to head over to the GitHub link, which is on the mod hub um, and download the developer kit for this. Um, I'll put the link in the description below if I remember, but we just click on the uh, SDK and then if you click download, it will save the file for you in download. And then for, for now, copy it into your mods folder because that'll make it easier for what we're going to do next. So we're in the mods folder. I have unzipped the SDK folder. Um, and what we also want to do is unzip our tractor. Um, so we're going to right click 7-zip and extract and then delete the original zip or if you're worried about it copy it somewhere else in case you screw up and um, if it doesn't work you probably screwed up follow the instructions again i'll point out some bits where i screwed up when i was first installing this um, so what we want to do is we want to jump in here and you'll see there is a guide.pdf rtfm as we like to say around here um, so nice PDF instructions, and I'm actually going to be working through those on my second screen at, to remind myself how to do it as we go through this process. Um, so the next thing you want to do is you want to pick which of the horizontal or vertical you want. And we're going to copy those and we're going to copy the textures folder. So control C to copy and we're going to go and stick them in the folder for the mod. OK. Um, next thing is to open up the i3d for the mod and uh, use giants editor for that again I don't know why my uh, giants editor doesn't recognize it as default I don't care I can fix it I can't be bothered um, I have much more important things to deal with at the moment in my life so let's turn down the speed um, if you're not that familiar with giants editor Ask a friend who is to do this for you. Um, I am not going to teach you how to use Giant Editor because if you're at that point, this is possibly too much for you. Um, so what we're going to do is file and import. And we're going to import the vertical i3d file. Actually, we want to make sure I'm in completely the wrong folder. 
So if we go into, so make sure you're in the folder for the mod. And we're going to install, we're going to import the tab pad vertical i3d file. And there it is. And then what we need to do is use the arrows and the um, circles to move it around as you want to get it into whatever position you want. And it's obviously quite a big tablet to try and fit in here. I think we're going to try and get it up on this uh, part of the door frame. And to get the green arrow, there we go. Um, it, this is really a lot of trial and error. It's going to be completely different for every track you try and fit it in. And, you know, there'll, there'll be a hopefully be a good place to put it in whatever tractor you want to fit it in I mean that's sort of on the there we go oh, we've gone through the gas strut for the window uh, once we've got it placed I'll then show you how to move it in the i3d structure there we go so it's maybe not the ultimate placement but it's good enough All right then what we want to do the, or the way i did it is i found the cab part of the i3d and if you hold the middle mouse button you can then drag up to the cab um, and you'll see that the monitor is there we're going to need some of the numbers from this file so you want the numbers for the screen and then these three hud points so um, i'm going to use copy and paste and the next step now is to go in to actually let's just save this just in case we forget and the next step is to go in to the xml file um, so we're going to open up the XML file for the tractor and we're also going to go back and we're going to go to the SDK folder and there is a code.xml because we need both of those. Okay, first step is to sort the i3d mappings. So hopefully your mod has a section like this at the end. If it doesn't, then you want to copy the whole thing. If it does, just copy the bit between the, uh, as I've selected here, go down to the bottom of the i3d mapping section, go to the last one, make a bit of space and paste those in. So, and then we need to populate these bits. So the index path from GE. So if we go into Giants Editor, we find the screen, we highlight that, copy it with control C and then paste it in and then repeat for the others. Um, I know that they go three, four, five after this. So we're just going to paste in the same one and correct it. These numbers will be different depending on your mod and where you have put it in your mod. So yeah, make sure you get the correct numbers. So the next thing that we need to do is copy in the dashboard element. So this is linked up so that it starts with when you start the motor. OK, so this is the next section. And we are looking for the bit of the dashboard controls that has the default section in it. This is where you can make a mistake. So the, the Traction King had several different dashboard sections. So this is the one we want. Um, and then we're just going to sort out the uh, tabbing. And But you may find there are other dashboard sections to do with other bits of the vehicle. I don't, there you go, there's some more here, dashboard, see? Um, so make sure you go to the one that has this default group in it and add it to that. Okay, the last bit in theory, so we've got the vertical tablet, so we're gonna copy the section, the real dashboard section for the vertical tablet. And we're gonna paste that straight underneath the dashboard section. 
And in theory, that is us all done. So we're going to save that and close it. We're going to make sure that the i3d is saved and we're going to close it. And um, at this point, if you're feeling confident, you can go in, you can do a control A to select all seven zip and you can add to the zip file and then cut that, paste it into your mods folder and delete the uh, unzipped version. If you're not confident, save that step to the end. Let's reload the game and see if I've been overconfident. So we're back. This is I have not checked yet. Um, the first thing I can see is that the screen is clipping through the window a bit. So you probably want to adjust that. But as I said, each tractor is going to need a slightly different setup. The engine isn't running yet. So the screen should be off. And if we hit start, the screen comes on. That is looking good. We have 8,000 liters of wheat in there, which I guess weighs 5,400 kilos not sure um if we do um let's zoom in a bit okay and then you can use the right alt and one changes the mode not sure what that's is that doing speed no nope, not sure what the modes are i've not really looked at this more in detail literally doing the tutorial because people ask me to explain how to add it uh, so let's go back to that um so right out two changes the units um i guess between liters bushels washing machines whatever you want and then uh three changes the uh mass unit so i'm guessing we might be in pounds there tons kilos just a guess and then underneath that there's another unit which i can't quite see what that is um, I have noticed that scaling seems to go a little bit funny for me whether it does for you or not I do not know and maybe that will be part of an update but yeah that's how you add in the uh, the, di the display to a mod um, yeah and if you found this useful click the like button subscribe because 60% of you aren't subscribed and uh, that's not good is it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe so please do uh, if you do click the like button do not smash it if you smash the like button you have to buy me a coffee there is a link for that below um if you've got comments or questions about this stick this below um this is one of those things where you'll do it it won't work you'll ask me why it doesn't work and i'll probably say just start again um you know just download the tractor again try again um things i would guess you know if you've uh, if you've got the unzipped and the zipped version and you've only edited the unzipped version then farm sim will read the zipped version and it won't see your edits so nothing will appear um if when you come into the game the screen doesn't load up that's probably because you my my first problem with that was i copied the dashboard data into the wrong dashboard section in the mod um if you don't get numbers appearing you may have got the the links in the i3d mapping wrong um before people ask no i will not edit a tractor for you i do not edit other people's mods and share them um, that's wrong if uh if you can't do it ask a friend to help you know a lot a lot of people that are interested in this sort of stuff might have a friend who does can do a bit for them ask them to help you um but yeah, I do not share edits of other people's mods. And yeah, hopefully that's helped. I'll catch you next time.